Yo, what is going on, my husbandos and waifus? My name is Hermzar, and welcome to another live reaction uh, review of The Rising of the Shield Hero. If you guys are excited, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot. Subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification bell, my boys. So I'm trying something a little bit different. I'm actually using a new camera. Um, it's the new camera that I'll be starting to vlog with. So hopefully it looks pretty decent. <laughs> but anyways, guys, in the last episode of The Rising of the Shield Hero, they were put into this cathedral by the Pope, and the Pope is a bad boy. He's using weapon that requires a lot of mana, and it's hurting, like, the people of the church, but they're so determined to take down the Shield Hero that they're willing to do anything. Also, there was rumors that Itsuki and Ren are dead, but they're actually living. They survived. So now, we're here in today's episode, and uh, we're gonna see if the four heroes, since now they are working together, will they be able to stand a chance against the pope let's go what the fuck is happening here is this the queen i think this is the queen this is the queen yo yo the queen though the queen though dude she must be fucking strong if they're preparing her for oh did she just chemo chi when they put that shit on her boobies oh my god it's time dude it's fucking time oh she looked like a straight fire emblem character oh it's time they big mad Ooh, we don't even get a fucking opening. We don't even get a fucking opening when they just go straight into the episode. That's how you know things about to go down, my boys. Are they all getting ready to attack? What's up with everyone with their electric properties? Is that really all they got? I'm sure there's more properties. They just haven't explored that yet. Ooh, they're able to break through one barrier. The Pope really thinking he can, like... Let's see how they're going to do this. I think uh, because when it, it goes back to Nafumi's sword and it deflects even, like, maybe double the power, maybe. It looks like it. God damn. If they work together like that, they can handle almost anything. But this bitch, he's using the power of Jesus. Oh, shit. Now the bishop. Yo, the bishop is now like, oh, my God, this pope is goddamn fucking crazy. That sucks, dude. You can't, you can't trust the, you can't trust these people, man. You can't trust, you can't even trust the church. I just hate how this pope is acting all high and mighty. The name Pope. That's true. That's what I, that, that's what I've been saying. Because legit, the reason why Nafumi's doing so well is because he's making good use of his shield. He's uh, looking at other skills that are required that he can use to better his shield. Whereas I've only seen electric attacks from these motherfuckers, right? A very strong physical um, distance attack like that meteor spear from Spear Hero. Other than that, they don't really have anything. Wait, what the fuck just happened? Damn, he's he's trusting in a power that might hurt him. Oh shit. He refused to let the anger take over him, and I'm hoping he'd be able to control it. I won't let your anger overtake me. Yes, now Fumi, come on. He ha he has to control it. This is the only way. He has to fight it. He can fight it. I mean, he's using mine. That I mean, that's that's fucking genius of this goddamn dragon to use mine against him. Philo is going to be controlled too, right? He felt fulfilled to a point. Yo, this, his fucking full-on curse design looks really dope, actually. Oh, fuck, dude. Damn, dude, he fucking went, he went fucking evil. Now Fumi has worked up all this time to finally tell the other heroes how he feels about them. And he needs to control it to be brought back down. Oh, someone's calling him. Master, it's Philo. It's Philo, Raftalia. I think this is also a another great way to like throw a flashback at the series. <laughs> I love how the wagon is the first thing that she mentions. He has his own little harem. And now he has three waifus. Well, one waifu and two lollies to protect. Okay. <laughs> I wonder like the time span of all of this happening in his head while the, the fight is going on. <gasps> oh shit. They're all cursed. Oh, fuck. You know what's amazing? You know what's amazing? It's just the fact that they're willing to share in the pain that now Fumi's, like, feeling. Even to the point where they're willing to curse themselves as a part of his party. And holding him down and holding close to him to be able to stop the anger that's pent up inside of him. Yes, they're going to be cursed. Yes, they're going to be hurt. But they're willing to do that just because of all the things that Nafumi has done for them. And of course, all they need is like some purification water and all that. But I'm going to get into like the things people have been saying about Shield Hero and the anime, why it's not good and etc. But for me personally, as someone that hasn't fully read it, um, I usually just read it to keep up like at the same time as the anime. But this is, I, I just love how it's being represented here. 
God damn it. I love how it's being represented here and it's just it's fucking beautiful, man. Oh shit, he's asking for help and he said, PLEASE! Yo, but that armor looks fucking sick, bro! That's such a fucking hero thing to say. Damn, his disciples are legit dead. Like, there's no point. Ooh, the music! The first opening! The first anime opening music! I love this song, dude! So they're getting rid of all of the barriers, now Fumi's just gonna go in. Woohoo! Philo's out here! decoys oh let's go mine's actually oh they're powering up motoyasu oh breaking through they got him right in the chest friendships <laughs> and strong bonds always prevail dude how much hp does this pope have i would have died after getting stabbed in the heart dodging Fila, let's go that's he looks so fucking tight wrath fire oh it's one of their attacks is it like flare blitz Oh, he absorbed the flame? Oh, damn. The power of the four heroes. This is so fucking sick. State of emptiness. He's reflecting it. Did he just get stronger? How How does he look? How? Wait, wait. How does he look unscathed? How? Now it looks like a solar eclipse. Oh, fuck. This is so freaky, dude. <laughs> no, no, Zetsubo. No, Zetsubo. Shit, they're getting hit. This is when the queen will pull up. The queen's about to pull up right now. I told you. I fucking told you. So predictable. But yo, let's go. Holy fuck. Dude, how fucking powerful is this queen? Oh, is he using it? Blood sacrifice. <gasps> oh, shit. Hello? Hello? What the fuck is this? Oh, shit. And they broke it. That's good news. And they killed the Pope. Holy shit. What the fuck? Dude, now Fumi about to faint the fuck out after that. He lost a shit ton of blood. Of course, like they said, there's always like a cost to that curse shield. Oh, shit. Dude, the queen is kind of hot. Hey, you know, with age comes experience, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, my boys? All right, let's talk about this. This episode... Oh, my God. <laughs> I did not expect to see what I expect. There are so many, like, feelings that... There was a lot of uncertainty, I should say. There was a lot of, like, man, okay... First, I want to I wanna get into some things because I know a lot of people have been telling me about how they feel about Shield Hero, why the anime is bad in comparison to the manga or light novel if it's based off of a light novel. But for the, for the most part, what people are telling me in comparison, right? What the anime did in comparison to the reading material is that it made it a lot more lighthearted than what you would usually see in the manga or light novel. The reason why they did that is for more appeal to the mainstream and to the masses of anime versus like people who are just in there for the dark things. Yeah, I will say like knowing that as lighthearted as it may be, I still feel a lot of the, the emotions and, and the purpose of why things are happening. Like for example, uh, Raftalia, Melty, and Philo reaching out to Nafumi saying, we are going to take the pain with you. Do not feel like you're alone. That is something that everyone wishes they can have. Not just from waifus, but more so just from people in general. The feeling of that you're not being alone is important and that's a feeling that i've felt for a while now just in the sense of naofumi getting that was it was enabling him to fully not fully because i don't think he has full control i think he has control to an extent but because this is a brand new power for him that he was trying to adjust to of course it's going to overtake his body and he's going to struggle a little bit doing this so in that sense he was able to kind of push through and control it just because of the fact that he had the support from Raftalia, Philo, and Melty, though because they were reaching out to him, holding on to him while he was trying to gain momentum and control of this new power, they were cursed, unfortunately. And that's one of the horrible side effects of the whole Shield Hero Curse series is the fact that even Vittoria was warning him about it, like there is some major drawbacks and that's one of them. And even that ultimate that attack that he used against the Pope, which was uh, the blood sacrifice for him to summon a dragon from the bottom, he's close to death. He lost a lot of blood. And I'm, if anything, it's kind of like a one-hit self-destruct 
type of thing. But in that sense, he was able to summon like the strongest, one of the strongest, I'm assuming there's more dragons that he can summon. I think that in a sense is so fucking epic. The, what I always praise how music is such an important part of anime. And this is a very excellent example of it. The mere fact that we're able to get all of these things that we ha we just fucking got right here blew me the fuck away, my boy. This, the music is phenomenal. The animation was phenomenal. Seeing the cardinal heroes work together to take down the Pope was phenomenal. It was such a good feeling to see. Regardless of what people say on the end. Uh, well, I will say, reading what people have to say about it being more lighthearted than the manga and the light novel or whatever it is, definitely made me see this anime in a different light. And I hated it. I hated that I saw that because now it's just like, it doesn't have more so have an effect on me from the comments, but it, it just makes me think about it. And so like, that's why it's been hard for me to go through comments. It's just like complaints about it. Cause even regardless of what people are saying about this anime uh, and this series right now, I think what's important is if you're enjoying the series and I'm enjoying the series, regardless of what all those other people are saying. So I'm still going to continue to watch it 100%. We're almost done. There's like only what four more episodes of this and this pope match was amazing and we got to see the queen the queen a goddamn snack my boy you know she could take a poop on us but other than that seeing the heroes work together blood sacrifice which is fucking crazy just the fight this fight in general was super epic really crazy really fucking amazing fight anyways guys that is my review for rising of the shield here if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys go to drop a like for me because that would help me a lot subscribe click that notification bell my boys thank you so much for all the support that you guys have been giving me hopefully the quality is good i'm i'm hoping it's so fucking good and i'll catch you guys in the next one